Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today is going to be my first time reacting to Enhypen. Is that how you say it? Enhypen? I think I'm pronouncing it <laughs> correctly. Please let me know. But this is their new comeback, Drunk Dazed. Can relate to the name of the song very strongly. So let's just get stuck straight in. We're at a bus stop. Looks very kind of British. We finished school. <laughs> oh, cute party invitation. Oh my God, knew it. Oh, Loki creepy. What? I'm here for the party vibe, summer vibes coming through the song. The lollipop's too cute. I love how some of them are still wearing their school uniform and you've got this kind of like, school's out, grunge is on. I'm loving like the printed top underneath the school uniform. Like, let me know in the comments if you to wear school uniform and like how did you like customize it, make it your own? Like I used to wear skinny jeans and trainers with my little long emo fringe. Yeah. <laughs> Whose bougie house is this? Whose house are you fucking up? I mean, I'll be scared too. That intro was freaky. The world's drunk in a swirling glass. I mean, same. This looks like they're gonna do like, what's that thing, like a Ouija board or like, you know, that thing where you sit around to like a table and hold hands and like you contact the dead. That's what it's making me think of. Yes, oh my God, yes. The energy of this is so good, like pump it up. Oh my God, I love this. I'm so here for this. This is so catchy. This is going to be stuck in your head forever. And it's because they're like repeating the words. Wow, wow, dance, dance, dance. Is anyone else low-key getting like American Horror Story, like coven vibes from this? Like, it's kind of what I'm getting. Ooh. These boys are bad. I'm scared. You're, this is weird. <laughs> this makes me think of being back in Seoul. Oh my God, yes. I feel like I'm noticing as like the video goes on, like the school, cause it's like all these layered looks with like the school uniform over top. Like you can see all the shirts and the layers underneath. And I feel like it keeps like, each time it hits the chorus, like another layer is like peeled off to reveal these really like sick, like urban looks underneath. I think that's so cool. And this was really interesting how like the screen size is jumping. Do you know what I mean? It's going like narrow than the chorus. It like blows out wide. Smart. This is gonna be stuck in my head all day. Oh, there's those freaky boys. Fangs going red. I'm so here for this. Like what? This is some freaky shit. Stop. Now they're serving up like innocently sweet, like Disney Prince vibes. Stop. The detail in these. Oh, like that. Let's, I'll be here forever if I stop. Carry on. 
There's like some weird like vampire shit going on, American Horror Story Coven vibes. Oh my God, he's gonna make the fountain red. This is so creepy, but it's so sexy. What? Oh my God. I love this. This is so freaky, but it's not. Oh my God, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God, please tell me they're gonna dance in this red puddle of blood. We're back with the grunge. <sighs> this is so sexy, like these sexy e-boy vibes. I'm just, I'm so dead. This song, these looks, like that kick move, come on. Like the anarchy t shirt with the red plaid. <laughs> I low key thought he was doing a death drop. Bam! <laughs> Oh, she's late to the party. What I think is really interesting about the styling of this MV is that we're starting off with this really kind of like innocent schoolboy look. And then as we enter the party, you can see the shirts are open. We've got the printed t-shirts underneath. And then as the looks transition to the end, we're slowly building up to this like full blown, like sexy e-boy aesthetic. I think it's really, really sick. And it's like in the first chorus, you can see They've got all the different layers underneath their school uniform. In the first chorus, you can see you've got that really graphic black crew neck on Sanu with that white collar coming over the top. And then it's really interesting in the next chorus, he's got a really oversized, lightweight, like kind of almost like a chiffon -y white shirt with a very similar graphic print. So it just shows you how that looks transitioned. And that's then been styled with these really sick leather trousers, French tuck in at the top to give him some shape and like show like the length of his legs. It's just really smart. And then as we get to the second chorus, they're like switching the graphics around. In the first chorus, you've got Sung Hoon in that open white shirt, the blazer with that striped t-shirt underneath. And then when you get to our second chorus, you've got Hee Sung in that really bold striped sweatshirt. So it keeps swapping around. I think it's a really interesting way to do it because in the reaction, I was like, oh, it's like they're peeling off different layers to reveal the aesthetic, but actually they're like switching it around slowly. I think it's really, really sick. It's really, really smart. Like I said, it's like, we're slowly transitioning into that like full blown e-boy aesthetic. They're like transitioning into that full like vampire like naughtiness. I just want to quickly cover off the like Disney Prince looks. They're so, so stunning. And I like the fact that we're seeing this again, like in my shiny Atlantis reaction, I was talking about how they're giving me like a Disney Prince vibes with those like under the water, like regal looks. And we've got it again here, but this is, I would say this is like, very classic to like the era. Like you've got all of that beautiful gold, like brocade detail, the roping, the whites, the navies. It's just such like a strong color palette. It's very regal. It's just so beautiful. And they all look so fucking good. And it's like, these are hard looks to pull off and they're wearing the looks, the looks aren't wearing them. So just, I'm obsessed with these looks. What I really like about these e-boy looks at the end is that they're still tying into all of the previous looks. We've still got all of those stripes, all of the layers, that striped t-shirt over the long black. I think my favorite has to be, I believe it's Jay. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out names. I hope I'm correct. But he's got that like long sleeve mesh top with that black t-shirt over the top, all of the chains. He's got like that like bandana or something like tied at his waist. It's just so good. The little flashes of red really tying into this whole like vampire, like I'm gonna fucking kill you vibe that they're giving me. What's really nice about these final looks as well is the color palette. The reds are tying in that red carpet, but you can see they've all got different tones of red. Like you've got Nikki at the front and that really like blue toned, like blood red tartan. And then you go back for you and you've got Sanu in that really beautiful tartan trouser, like the navy and that 
deeper red. It's so, so good. And then behind Sanu, you've got Hisung, I believe, I believe, in that really like blood red tartan, that band t-shirt, the blazer with all of like the little like chains and like brooches and trinkets on the collar. I think that is one of my favorite looks. <sighs> just get me a blazer with some brooches on and I'm literally just gonna like melt over it, so. And then I would have to say my other favorite look is Sanu in that really beautiful like white shirt with the printing, the leather trousers. Again, just <laughs> very up my street. That MV was honestly so sick. I love like the creepy, like sexy e-boy aesthetic to it. So, so good. The song is such a summer vibe going straight on the K-pop phase playlist. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite look from Drunk Days has been and what other in hype and MVs you'd like to see me react to. But thank you so much for watching and a massive thank you to everyone who's subscribed. You are amazing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.